Right, over to you Lars, what happened today? So today we had the second day in the trial of the tunnels, where there's nine of us in a tunnel under Euston Square Gardens for a month. And today the case was dismissed saying no cates to answer. Um, and so it vindicated what I've been saying for weeks, which is this was a political trial motivated by trying to punish us and restrict the right to protest uh, in an unfair, unjust way. And that's been with, upheld today by the judge who said there was no case to answer. You know, we had the right to protest. We hadn't broken the law that H2 were trying to claim we had. I mean, it, it just shows the corruption and the ineptitude and incompetence of HS2. You know, they couldn't even work out what charge they were trying to charge us with. That was only like revealed this afternoon and a you know, two day trial. Uh, and sure enough, it was proved, you know, found that, yeah, they hadn't provided evidence to back up that charge because the charge was trumped up basically. Um, so yeah, it's vindication and it's really great news and it's another step. Now, the whole tunnel campaign was a useful step in the campaign to stop HS2. HS2 is a massive abomination. It's going to dest it's destroying homes, destroying lives, destroying um, businesses and jobs, billions, hundreds of billions of pounds of our money, and it's accelerating the climate and ecological emergency, and therefore massively increasing the risk of societal collapse. So we have to stop HS2 as part of addressing the climate and ecological emergency and moving towards a regenerative economy where we actually start to do the work that's needed. You reckon you'll be able to stop it this time? HS2 is going to get stopped. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been studying this now for a couple of years. You know, and my background's in as, as a scientist looking at this climate and ecological emergency, and it's obvious to me that HS2 has no place in a world which is starting to face, prepare for, and address the climate and ecological emergency. Course, yeah. So as that emergency unravels, which it is doing, as awareness of it grows, which it is doing, HS2 will get scrapped in short order. So we're already seeing that the eastern leg to Leeds, that's now being kind of Delayed. dropped quietly. Yeah. What we need is people to come together now and say enough is enough, a line in the sand, we've got to stop HS2, we've got to turn our economy around, we've got to insulate Britain's homes, We've got to do the basic things to address the climate and ecological emergency. Stop the harm, you know, stop the 27 billion pound road building program, all of these destructive schemes and start getting on with the job of keeping our country safe.